And man, we're back with some more Spare Hunter Death Mark 2. Let's do this. All right, let's see here. I want to collect more information about Hanako Akai before nightfall. I want to speak to Miss Sakamoto, the student council, and Horikoshi first. Uh, let's check the student council room. Kunikawa is hanging out in the student council room. It seems like she's not busy. Oh, hello, four-eyed four -eyed geezer. I mean, Mr. Yoshiki. I heard from Hime. You're a teacher here now. There's something I'd like to ask you, Kunikawa. Oh. Nope, my lips are zipped. I'm not going to give any more information to my rival. But maybe I'll reconsider if you show me your sincerity. Kinukawa looks at me, eyes full of expectation. I can't ask Ai for help when she's specifically pointing to me. What should I do? Kneel down before her? I'm gonna do it. I drop down on the floor and kneel in front of Kinukawa. Yikes, what a turn off. Don't you have any pride? Kinukawa is repulsed by my action. That didn't go well. Right, uh, as the old saying goes, a woman's hair is her soul. I'll try complimenting her distinctive hair color. Um, you've got a beautiful hair color. It suits you perfectly. What? For realsies? Kinokawa runs her fingers through her hair, looking really surprised. I see. So that's how my hair looks to you. She has a satisfied smile on her face. She must be really proud of her hair color to feel that pleased by my compliment. A little too pleased, if I'm being honest. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you. I can see your sincerity. Well, whatever the case, it works. She's willing to listen. So, what do you want to ask? Let's chat. Oh, Kinokawa stares intently at me. Okay, uh... Um... Oh, um, you're making me nervous. Tall and slender figure with an intellectual and calm face. You look like an annex Parthenope, somehow. <laughs> That's a dragonfly, right? Is that supposed to be a compliment? Oh, it's the highest form of compliment, because I like bugs. I could okay, that would make sense with the ladybug button. But ladybugs are cute either way, so whatever. Now that she mentions it, all of her accessories resemble bugs. Oh, I just noticed her earrings are a butterfly. This girl's got some interesting hobbies. Let's talk about Naomi Horikoshi. Horikoshi is popular. It only it's only caused Akai to be judged even more harshly. What do you mean? I feel bad for saying this, but Akai was plain. Now, imagine how Horikoshi's fans might react to that. I guess some of them thought she wasn't good enough to be hanging out with her. Even though they got along? Well, that's true. Horikoshi had always protected Akai. She's not the type to give in to pressure. But things changed between them at some point. You mean before she committed suicide? Uh-huh. Rumors said they had a falling out. Horikoshi seemed to be avoiding Akai. Let's check the bullying. It seemed like Akai was bullied pretty badly. You remember those scribbles you saw in the restroom? They're based on her actual bullying. Her bullies wrote insulting things about her on the wall in the old building's restroom. Hanako Akai. Three months ago, ha Akai committed suicide in the girls' restroom in the old building. She hanged herself with a rubber hose. Hanako of the toilet. Hanako of the toilet is a spirit that appears in the girls' restroom in the old building. Except for Hime, everyone basically knows the rumors surrounding Hanako. Alright. Oops. I think we got what we could then. Because we found out about the falling out. Uh, by the way, Mr. Yoshiki, there's something I've been curious about. The girl behind you looks like Ai Kashigawagi from Love Heat. Isn't, doesn't she? Uh, oh, I'm the real Aikashiwagi, actually. You're kidding! Whoa, it's my first time seeing a celebrity! What's your relationship with I, Mr. Yashiki? What do you think? No, no. She's a friend I can rely on. I'm gonna say that. Ah, uh, I'm honored to know that you really trust me, Mr. Yashiki. I'll live up to your expectations, hee <laughs> hee. I can tell how close you are. But to think you'd ask an actual idol to help you with your investigation? How fearless. Her fans will hate you. Mr. Yoshiki didn't do anything. I forced him to let me help out. Wow, you're so popular. Bet I also moved by your sincerity. 
Kuri Kinukawa looks at me and smirks. The conversation started to go in a strange direction. Time to put an end into this. Yeah, for real. I'm out of here. I leave this two in council room after talking with Kinukawa. All righty. So now we have to go all the way upstairs because I think that's where the friend's hiding still, hopefully. Oh, I thought I switched to the doctor. I guess not. I think she was right here. Oh, no. No, no. The, I think the doctor wanted... Uh-oh. She's gone. No, she's not. I think the doctor wanted to come to this. Crap. Hold on. We'll go back. So you All right, here we go. Then now we'll go all the way upstairs. I don't feel like I should be running this whole time with this poor guy. All right, now we'll run past this first one to this one. Okay. Where was she? Was she on the first floor? The second floor? We'll just check all of them. Is there anything else? I don't really know the details. It happened after his 30 years had quick club activities. Fine. Was that the... No, no, no. There's one more classroom. And it's not used. Okay. So she was on the second floor, I think? One hour later. Oh, uh, she might know something that'll help further our investigation into Hanako Akai. She could, should be in the fact. Oh boy, I'm so dumb. Why did I just check that? I've literally been checking every. Oh boy. When I enter the faculty room, I ask if the teacher nearby can call Sakamoto. No more. Well, hello. Hello, and you are Mr. Yoshiki. Mr. Konoe told me about you. The name's Ritsu Sakamoto. I'm the curriculum co coordinator at this school. Nice to meet you. She is gorgeous. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, I'd like to cut to the chase. Before that, I have something important to tell you. Konoe Hara Academy is a prestigious high school with 70 years of history. I'm sure you already know that, don't you? Y yeah. Our teachers are responsible for guiding the next generation while preserving that history, and thus, as a teacher here, you will have to understand our regulations. Sakamoto begins to scold me. If I listen to her entire spiel, the sun will set. What should I do? Beg her to stop, show her I'm paying attention. Have Damon step in? I'm gonna do that. Damon nods when I give him the signal. Miss Sakamoto, you're one excellent teacher. I've even heard Mr. Konoe pra praise you highly. Why are you suddenly bringing that up? I feel bad that someone as skilled as you would have to use your valuable time training a new teacher. Allow me to train him. However, providing a summary of the case is something that only you can do. Would you mind sharing what you learned? You're not wrong. My hands are already full with all the tasks I have. I'll leave his training to you then. Sakamoto's finally willing to listen. Mr. Konoe said you're looking into the departed's notices. That is correct, but I'm focusing on Hanako at the toilet at the moment. What's the difference? They're both ridiculous rumors. I don't think I even have any information I can share with you on that matter anyway. We'll chat. With the commotion surrounding the notices and the missing kids, many students have been feeling anxious. If we don't show them we're doing something about it, these rumors may reach outsiders' ears. Which would sully the school's reputation. So you want me to solve this discreetly? Precisely. Well then, I expect that you will retain your... Pr priority on discretion while you are performing your investigation. Alright, let is... 
every school has its own seven mysteries and ghost stories. Well, that in and, in and of itself is not something to be upset about. I find it incredibly rude that a student who has recently passed is now a subject of such stories. Hanako Akai. Akai was a rather quiet, inconspicuous student. But when she played the piano, she was dazzling. She even wanted to pursue a career in the music industry one day. What a pity. I heard you looked into Hanako Akai's suicide. I'd like to know more about that. What made her kill herself? Relationship troubles. That's what it said in the reports. That's rather vague. <sighs> Please tell me the truth. Was it because of bullying? Don't make me repeat myself. It was because of relationship troubles. Miss Sakamoto. However, if I were to personally speculate what her real problem was, it would be bullying. As a proud member of the school staff, Sakamoto doesn't want the bullying angle to go public. Phrasing it as she did could be seen as a confession. Maybe now she'll start to open up a bit. Akai, hung herself, er, <clears throat> Akai hanged herself in the female restroom on the old building's third floor. Third floor, not the first? Yes, the third floor. Last night I encountered Hanako in the first floor's restroom. I'd assume that was where she committed suicide. When we found her body, she was wearing a red skirt with suspenders like the like the grade schoolers wear. Like the original Hanako of the toilet. Oh, so was she, was she really into the paranormal too, I wonder? How could that be? I doubt she chose to wear that outfit herself. That's all I could say. Oh, was she forced into it? In other words, someone forced her to put on Hanako the toilet's outfit. Sakamoto had gently nudged me, me towards what she, she considered to be proof of the bullying. I learned some strange things related to her after Akai's suicide. So you see, I reached out to some students about the case. Horikoshi was basically Akai's best friend. She knew Akai was getting bullied, but she turned a blind eye to it. She didn't stop the bullies. Oh, she's going to definitely be next. Or so I heard. No idea if it's true or not. All right. I leave the faculty room after talking with Sakamoto. The character Ritsu Sakamoto has been added to the character file. Go. We managed to get information about Miss Sakamoto, even if it was all distressing. Indeed. However, all that information must be related to the spirit's grudge. No matter how much we hate hearing those stories, we have no choice but to keep digging. I understand that much. Hmm. I feel like I would be in danger if I take her with me. I want to do as much as I can before night falls. Why don't we go talk to the students some more? There's no one here. Oh. I want to talk to Horikoshi, but I don't know where she is. Maybe one of the students might have seen her. Don't talk to me. Mm, that's all I know. Same here. This only gets more mysterious. Getting closer to the truth might be dangerous. I don't want to be targeted and killed by the departed. Maybe we won't do that. Oh, is that her? Oh, no, no. Hello, Mr. Yoshiki. How's the investigation going? Chat. I saw Horikoshi entering the music room just now. I wonder what business she has there. She's not in the brass band club. Oh. I used to be in the same class with her and Horikoshi during our first year. 
they got along well back then. Uh, during lunch break, Cody Kochi would always go to the music room to hear Akai play piano. If she killed herself because of bullying, I basically murdered her too, indirectly. What I did was unforgivable. Aww. There's no one in the music room. Uh-oh. Strange. Didn't Dorio say Horikoshi entered this room? That's odd. Why don't we investigate this place for a sec? Hmm. There's a black grand piano. Piano, huh? I had lessons when I was a child. I could play a few songs from Bayer. I switched to electric guitar during my school years, though. She might be inside here. This is the musical equipment storage room. Horiko, she's desperately rummaging through the cabinet. She seems to be frantically searching for something. Whoa! Aren't you? Did you follow me here? So you're basically creepy stalkers. Aren't you depraved? Uh, Horikoshi, there's something. Oh, shut up. I've got nothing to tell you. Horikoshi's hostility toward us is obvious. We need to do something to clear the misunderstanding. Let's team up. Maybe we'll just show her? Yeah. Help me out, Damon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Along with Damon, we unfold the handkerchief and show it to her. Have you seen this handkerchief before, Horikoshi? Huh? What handkerchief? What are you planning, anyway? I don't know what kind of scheme you have, but you won't fool me, you understand? I end up pissing off Horikoshi. Guess I need to come up with a different way to approach her. Looks like this isn't the right choice. Okay. Uh. That's the only... Okay, ask if she's lost any... Oh, God. Sixty-six percent. Help me out, Damon. I keep calling him Damon, but I pronounce Daimon. Ho Horikoshi, did you lose anything? Yeah, you must have lost something, right? Oh. <clears throat> yeah, you must have lost something, right? Lost what? Not sure if it's yours, but someone handed me a handkerchief they said it was lost. Yes, this handkerchief. What? What kind of handkerchief? She seems to be showing interest. Maybe now that she's a bit calmer, we can finally talk. Looks like this is the right... Oh, okay. Why is she so crazy? Is that handkerchief really mine? Horiko, she seems to be suspicious of us. What should we tell her? I guess we could do that. It was embroidered. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, the handkerchief has initial stitch on it. <laughs> Horikoshi, the lost handkerchief has a pair of initials embroidered on it. If I'm not mistaken, it reads NH. Huh? That's my handkerchief. So the handkerchief really is yours. Yes, I've been searching for it everywhere. Why do you have it, though? Do you mind telling me about it first? I have a few things to ask. If it won't take long, then fine. Horikoshi has finally regained her composure. Looks like this is the right choice. Thank goodness, because she had the creepiest look on her face. So, what do you want to ask me, Mr. Yoshiki? Horikoshi's still wary of us. We need to tread carefully so we don't piss her off. Let's chat. What are you doing here? Oh. What are you doing here? <laughs> huh. You seem to be looking for something. Huh. I don't think she's going to answer at all. 
Let's ask about her. Me and the name's Na Naomi Hori Horikoshi. Uh, student number 24 in class 2B. Favorite subject, English. Needs to improve history. My hobbies, shopping and karaoke. What else? My birthday, blood type, three sizes? Ha! Huh, you look so dumb. I met Hanako during her first year. She was quiet and adorable. She was very girly, unlike me. How did you two become close? It wasn't something special. She really hated milk, you see. Some dumbasses knew about it and tried forcing her to drink it for fun. So I drank it in her stead. Hanako was really grateful, and ever since then, we started hanging out a lot. How nice of you. Ew, I don't need your compliment. All right. I know about the rumors. Hanako will come if you scribble something on the old building's restroom wall, right? It's a bunch of crap. Nothing showed up. So you gave it a try? Ah! Horiko, she covers her mouth, realizing she just let something slip. Uh, I was desperate. I, I really wanted to see Hanako, even if it was her ghost. Why would you risk like that? Because there's something I want to tell her. If I'm able to do that, I wouldn't mind being killed by her. Don't be foolish. Haha, <laughs> I guess I sound like a fool to you. By the way, I immediately erased what I wrote with that handkerchief. But there was stuff written on the wall. You mean the whole, you suck at piano, right? I know that. But I didn't write that. Someone else did. I wanted to erase it, but the ink was already dry. I could only erase the Hanako part. That explains why I could barely read the name on the wall. Maybe the smudges on the graffiti in the new building were also Horikoshi's doing. Anyway, can you give it back to me? Uh, oh, sure. All right, let's ask you about the bullying. Do you want to know who bullied Hanako? I'll tell you. It was that bastard Izumi and his friend, Le his female lackey, Hanako's fellow brass band club members. Toshihiko Izumi? Yeah, him. He didn't show up today, though. Why did he bully her? It all started when the school held an audition to pick a representative to play the school song at the recital. Hanako and Izumi were both candidates for it, but she was the one chosen in the end. She was the obvious choice. She loved piano so much, and she spent every day practicing. But Izumi's fragile ego couldn't accept that. I, that would explain why she cut off his hand, like, almost immediately. To, to make sure, probably, if he survives, that he won't be able to play piano again. So he bullied Hanako because he was upset that she won the competition? You got it. They bullied her in the school girl's restroom in the old building so the teachers wouldn't find out. They wrote insulting things around her and forced her to drink milk. Hanako couldn't take it anymore, so she gave up the position. That's cruel. It was, and it was only the beginning. He continued bullying her even after she gave up her position. His ego must have been so trash because she was better than him. And in the end, Hanako committed suicide. <sighs> uh, at least it seems like they've been punished for their actions. Come again? Didn't his underling go missing? If I'm not mistaken, rumor said she was killed by Hanako, right? Are you talking about Ribbon? Yeah, that thing from the depart the departed's notice. If I remember correctly, that little biatch always wore flashy red ribbons. I see. Ribbon was the first victim, followed by Pianist. Seems like a pretty solid correlation. Both of them had something to do with Hanako's bullying. The next target is Model, aka the one in front of me, Naomi Horikoshi. She's Hanako's best friend, though. Did she bully her, too? But... Her anger toward Izumi doesn't seem like an act. I doubt she was one of Hanako's bullies. Why is Hanako targeting her, then? I, I would like to know, too. Let's stop here. Can I go now? No, I haven't finished yet. I'm sure you remember what I told you earlier. Hanako's next target is Model. More directly, you. So what? I want to protect you. Nope, I'm good. Don't you understand? Your life's at risk. What? Don't make me repeat myself. I don't need your protection. Just thinking about an old man protecting me is making me feel squeaky. I'm leaving. Move. Ugh. Honiko, she shoves Diamond uh, aside and rushes out of the storage room. Are you all right, Diamond? Yeah, <clears throat> uh, I'm not injured, luckily. My heart rate spiked, though. Thank goodness. It might be too late to chase her down. Horikoshi. Okay. A new notice from the departed has arrived while the murderer's named is the same. The 
target this time is model according to the rumors hanako will appear if you write her name on the wall of the toy to solve which then she'll kill you it is imperative to learn who model is before they meet the same demise as izumi I wonder what she was looking for. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Oh, Horiko, she seemed to be rummaging through this thing earlier. Inside, I find an open key box among some music books. There's a row of keys inside the box. Most of them seem to be keys for instrument cases. However, there's a key missing. I have no way of knowing what it was for. Did Horiko, she take it with her? Hmm. It fits for... The school will be closing shortly. All students, please promptly vacate the school grounds for today. Oh, time's passed already. Yashiki, let's return to the infirmary. We need to prepare for the investigation tonight. You know what? <laughs> now the school's closed. Now the school's closed. The building will empty out soon. But our investigation will only truly begin at night. I should reconvene with the member I left behind and start getting ready for tonight. Welcome back, Mr. Yashiki. The sun's already set, huh? Spirits appear once the sun sets. First, I'd like to organize all the information we've gathered before we get going tonight. I like that idea. First things first. Mister, are you in here? Ah! Oh. A young girl in a sailor uniform enters the infirmary. Yahoo. Hey, yo! I've come to help! Goodness, you too, Moe? Hee <laughs> hee, I told me everything. I'm an occult writer, so there's no way I just let this case pass me by. She's Moe Watanabe, a mark bearer and a student who attends a different school. A fan of occult things, she's also been working as an editor for an occult magazine. Our editor in chief Our editor in chief also looking forward to the Spirit Doctor's new mission. How many times have I told you? Can it can it with the nickname? Oh boo, don't be so mad about it. The chief and I came up with that name. Anyways, how's the departed investigation going? I share the information I've gotten with the three mark bearers. Cute! Is Hanako Akai really Hanako of the toilet? Oh. <clears throat> No doubt about it in my mind. She was bullied pretty bad. Her bullying took place in our, our building's restroom. She got insulted through graffiti, was made to drink milk that she hated, and then forced to wear the original Hanako's outfit. In the end, she killed herself while holding a massive amount of resentment. The ones who antagonized her were Toshihiko, Izumi, and his tagalog. They were both members of the brass band club. They started bullying her because Izumi didn't get selected to perform the school song on piano. Oh my god, they're the worst. And that Izumi kid was killed by Hanako last night. So she wants to get revenge for being bullied into suicide? Probably. Her previous target, Ribbon, was involved in the bullying too. Right up to here, everything makes sense. But I don't understand why model Horikoshi is now being targeted. They're, they were supposed to be best friends. There's a rumor that Horikoshi didn't stop the bullies despite knowing what they were doing. Something must have happened between them. Um, didn't the rumor also say Hanako keeps repeating the phrase, give it back? Hanako must be searching for something. Yeah, that. We still have no clue what it is. Oh, we need to figure that out. While we could summarize the case pretty easily, quite a few mysteries still linger. Should we fail to solve the mystery and cleanse her of her resentment, Horikoshi will die. I wonder if that's the thing Horikoshi's been looking for. Understood, thank you. Diamond w finishes talking and hangs up his phone. 
Bad news, Ishiki. I just asked Cody Koshi's homeroom teacher to check if she made it home safely. Looks like she hasn't returned yet. What the hell? Where is she now? No way. Did she go to the old building? Why the old building? Do you have any idea, mister? Why would Horikoshi head to the old building? That's where Hanako's at, to erase the graffiti to play the piano to meet Hanako. Suddenly I recall what Horikoshi said in the music equipment storage room. Because there's some something I want to tell her. If I'm able to do that, I wouldn't mind being killed by her. That's right. If she believes the notice is telling the truth, she probably sees this as a chance to meet Hanako. Oh my goodness. In a normal situation, telling Horikoshi Hanako is targeting model would be taken as a warning. But in this case, that might have backfired. We need to hurry. Wait a minute, mister. As much as I want to investigate with you, my boss warned me to be careful since I'm, it's so dangerous. Because of that, I've decided to support you in a different way. How so? Ooh, the creepy music. You see, Miss... Mrs. Yasuoka trusted me, entrusted me with handling sacred objects. You can't use these things in your investigation. Sacred objects? You know, sacred objects are items that are filled with spiritual energy. Just by having them with you, you'll have better luck. You'll be protected from all kinds of misfortune and harm. But before you can use them, you need to collect items that have spiritual power. Mrs. Yasuoka said those items are called lost souls. And where can I find them? Like cursed places or spots that aren't spiritually stable. Spiritually unstable spots, huh? Maybe I can find some around the school. This place is basically cursed by the departed, which makes it pretty spiritually unstable. Bring any lost souls here if you find them. I'll use them to charge whatever sacred objects you need. Cool. Also, lost souls have the ability to increase your spiritual state. My spiritual what? This is also something that I learned from Mrs. Yaku Yasuoka. Humans have spiritual states. Your spiritual state will grow if you come in contact with those lost souls. Mrs. Yasuoka said that your body might have that characteristic. Yashiki and other spiritual status can level up after you've obtained a certain... Okay. Let me repeat that once again. The point is, if you collect lost souls, your spiritual state will increase and you can obtain sacred objects. Being prepared for anything that might happen during your exploration is crucial. So try to inspect as many likely areas as possible and find those lost souls. Collecting lost souls. Okay. Sweet. Sacred objects. Oh, I don't have any. Alrighty, I think before we start getting really into the meat of this, this is a good spot to end. Oops. Jump scare warning for players with weak hearts, beware the jump scares in this game. Your controller will vibrate when these are triggered. Setting jump scare level to none will remove jump scares and correspond. Why would it do it when I'm trying to go into the menu? Are you freaking kidding me? All right, friends, and that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button and leave a like. Check out our memberships for extra perks for the channel. Also, if you like reaction content, check out my react channel. I have a link below in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Watching.